Well, tonight we introduce you to Oregon State linebacker Omar Spates. Omar grew up in a crime-filled area of Philadelphia, but after the sudden murder of his best friend and teammate, he's found an oasis in Corvallis. AJ McCord shares his story. Hey, that's my goal every day, just to get better, to hopefully get to that stage where I could, I could put them on my back and like take care of everybody. Omar Spates is ferocious on the football field. Omar's a little kind of uh, quiet and keeps to himself a little bit, but uh, he's kind of got the, uh, a, a serious demeanor where he's going to be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, and all of a sudden he's going to explode. On, and, yes. and that's exactly what kind of attitude you want to have from a linebacker. You know, he's got some bad intentions out there, which is what you want. You, you know, he, when he arrives there, he's arriving in a bad mood. You got to inflict something on somebody else. You can't let him do it to you. Hit or be hit, hurt or be hurt. It's a mindset born out of the reality of growing up in one of the rougher parts of West Philadelphia. It was like a lot of crime and stuff like that, so just like trying to like stay out of it, like stay focused and stuff like that. Consistently listed among the country's most violent big cities, Philadelphia Police Department reported 353 homicides in 2018. One of those was Spate's close friend. It was at night. He was picking his little brother up from a practice and they was in his house and then he went to go look and then it happened like this. Christian Marche had accepted a scholarship to run track at Penn State. Anybody losing their life is real, but that, like that is like, it hit closer because it's like, he, he doing the same thing I'm doing, just a different sport. So it's like, they don't even care like what you got going on for yourself. It didn't take long for Omar's mother, Patricia, and older brother, Beaver's defensive end, Jeremy Reichner, to decide Spates needed to get out. With Jeremy already settled into life at Oregon State, Corvallis became the perfect place for Omar to finish his high school career. She felt like it was a safer environment for me here, and plus, like, I'm doing something instead of, like, I'm, instead of staying there and, like, possibly get caught up in something. So, like at the end of the day, she supported it, but like it was gonna be hard, like not like seeing her knee leave so fast. Omar joined Crescent Valley's football team for his senior year. What immediately struck you as different than your high school in Philadelphia? Uh, just like, just like how people interact with each other. Like it's like, like everybody smiling, like like positive, like energy, like stuff like that. Spates adjusted quickly and following in his brother's footsteps, became a beaver last spring. Switching to linebacker and earning all freshman honors, his mom was even able to be in the stands when he had a team high six tackles in his first ever Civil War. You said it was amazing to feel that success in a position that you just started. How much hope does that give you that you're just getting started? Uh, it gave me a lot of hope, because uh, this is like, this, this is level one, so it's like, imagine what could happen when you get all the way up there. Your friend, Christian, what do you think he would say to you if he could see you now? Uh, I think he'd be uh, proud. I think he'd be proud for sure. It's AJ McCord reporting. I want to say thank you to Omar for letting us tell that story.